Over 210 videos. That's how many I made for you guys in 2023. And I loved every moment of it. I love what I do here on YouTube. It is uh, so fulfilling and rewarding to be able to help you guys out in any way, shape, or form that I can uh, to kind of bring light to indies, to issues, to give a voice to those who may not have the reach that I do when it comes to some issues they've been having in the crowdfunded board game space, and maybe, just maybe, making the industry even just a little bit better. If nothing else, helping you guys be more well-informed consumers and therefore better consumers. It has been a blast, and I am so thankful to have such a great community like you guys. I really am. I I, I live for this. It's it's what I look forward to doing all the time. I, I just I, I write down notes. I oh I can't wait to share this. Oh that'd be a great video. That'd help people. All that I I just I mean it. It's all for you guys. Thank you so much. My patrons the last few years have been doing a fundraiser for me where they contact companies and see who will donate. And I've kind of gone through my uh, game collection and been able to kind of cull different things or give out, you know, cool prototypes or one of a kind items like that. And I get to sign them all and send off stuff. And it's been a blast. So I'm not going to like push this into some big long video, it doesn't need to be, uh, but I will go over the latest one that is live now in the description below, the 2024 fundraiser for the channel, and explain kind of how it works for anybody who knew, who's new or new to the uh, fundraising donation that I do here. It's really just a uh, big effort to make sure that this stays the majority funding community driven so that I can cover the indie games that I want to cover, even if they don't get the most views. I don't have to cover just whatever's popular. I can cover whatever I think looks interesting that I want to share with you guys. It also means that I don't feel super inclined to like charge for reviews and do stuff like that. So that that stays, you know, kind of clean for you guys. And if there is an issue with the company, I can actually mention something. I can let my opinions be known, even if they're not necessarily the most popular or at least most popular within the board game industry. And that is, again, thanks to you guys being able to run this video or this channel. If you guys have found any of my videos helpful, please consider donating. It does indeed help. Uh, this is probably the only time I'm going to be asking uh, for donations, but it is uh, kind of each year uh, a, a kind of an end cap to the year and it's been a wild ride. I've had a blast. So let's go ahead and go over it. So here's the new page. This is a little bit of a preview. I haven't quite launched it yet because I'm recording this video. Um, I did a new banner. I do a banner each year. Uh, I have a kind of a fun time making these banners because I go over my thumbnails and kind of go through the past year and just kind of get a, a small selection of things that either were big to me or that I think were important or that were helpful or for whatever reason just strike my fancy. I, I like a variety of stuff too, right? So whether it's a top 10 or whether it's a news or reviews or like an investigative piece or an opinion piece or details videos, like there's all sorts of stuff here. And I, it's just, it, it's great to kind of go over, wow, what a year 2023 was was right I mean it was wild for the board game industry and uh I, I I I can't say I enjoyed it completely but there were some great highlights as well there really were and uh uh I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was able to celebrate those wins with you as well okay so moving on from that we have this video right here in case you need help explaining this uh so if if you're on this page viewing this video hi thank you so much over here is going to be the donation here uh and you know this kind of tells about you know how i made 210 uh, videos with your support really helps or whatever you can click donate now and then you can kind of select the amount here you can do a custom amount as well of course if you hover over it you're going to see entries here that's entries into the thank you gifts i'll explain that in a little bit you can also show the thank you gifts here and then of course you need to list your thank you gifts in order, please, and the ones that you would actually pay for shipping if shipping is included. Note that most of them are coming from America. You then click continue and you can actually pay a variety of different ways. I'm on Chrome right now, so it has a donate with Google Pay. If you're on your iPhone or Safari, it'll have a donate with Apple. I'll try to give you guys options that uh, both make sure that most of the dollars go to me. So this is why I run it on my website here so that, you know, Patreon or something else isn't like taking a large portion of it. Uh, GoFundMe, they take quite a big portion, actually. That was the first time we did that and we quickly moved off of that. Either way, uh, this just should give you quite a few options, PayPal, bank account, credit card, you know, all, all the kind of normal stuff there. And then, of course, you click donate now and then you'll get a receipt in your email. There's also a donor dashboard where you can kind of 
uh, look at your stuff there and and, and kind of uh, deal with anything you might need to do there. There will be a latest update. Right now there is none, but I will write some updates, post some update videos. Those will show up here. You can actually put your email here to subscribe for future updates, so you'll be notified when updates are posted, if that's something that you'd be interested in, you could certainly do that. And then an explanation of how it works. Essentially, donations are just that, they're donations. Uh, don't uh, donate expecting to always get something, though there is a stretch goal to get something, which will look super cool. So I'll show that in a little bit, but uh, suffice it to say, Essentially, uh, you get these entries in here. However, if you don't want to donate and still want to enter, that is certainly possible. Uh, you can contact me at contact at kingofaverage.com and then put in a free thank you gift entry and you get an entry into the uh, the the drawing that we'll do to give out all of these awesome games. Of course, follow your local laws if there are any around this. If for whatever reason, again, in the wide world, there's, there's an issue with this. But really, it's just donations. Uh, don't don't view this as a store. Um, I like giving back, and so I have all these thank you gifts that I can give back to, and it's wonderful to give back to the community. But I only do that because I enjoy it. Uh, please consider it an honest donation when you donate. Just just you know, m trying to make sure that it doesn't seem like it's like you're you're buying something because it's not. Okay, all right, so. Let's look at the stretch goals. First of all, the first thing I'll do is, of course, assign them all, all the ones coming from me, which is the majority of them. Uh, I'll assign them and uh, send that off. We are going to have another crown and another coin. I'm going to show you the crown here shortly. It looks really cool. It's very cool this year. Uh, just kind of a little collector item that you guys can get each year. Um, I am behind on the ones that uh, didn't get a gift, which there aren't that many of you guys, but if you are one of the ones that donated in 2023 and you should have gotten, or I guess really 2022, you should gotten a coin, a coin or a, a crown and I didn't send it with the game because you didn't happen to get a game, I'm working on it, I promise. I'll get that out to you guys. Okay, so improvements to correct issues for the 2023 funders. So essentially, I moved in February and I didn't have them all pre-boxed. And uh, that caused a big issue uh, when it comes to just the amount of time investment here. I've already taken time off work for February, so that is guaranteed. I'm not moving or anything like that, so that's helpful. And as you can see, I'm working on getting what isn't in a box, which a lot of them are, in a box. I'll get the shipping estimated there. We just got to slap a label on them and send them out. And uh, after February, that's when the prices for shipping uh, become better. Uh, they, they kind of inflate during Christmas time because there's so many. So if you wait until after February, the prices actually go down. And at that point, it's costing you guys a lot less. So let, without further ado, let's go to the available gifts. So we have a 12 cents of Heracles all seasons. That's actually coming from Into the Unknown. So free shipping, anybody can get that. Ships worldwide, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be a huge one here. Another huge one, Archon is actually donating that giant box, the Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the big box for the board game. It's gonna be massive. I mean, as you can see, that that's just crazy how much content is in that. It's super awesome, and again, Free shipping, super awesome. Uh, Heroes of Mind and Magic 3, the prototype, I have that, which is kind of a cool little preview for it. First of all, you get it really early because obviously it's a prototype and you get to see exactly what a kind of prototype looks like. It'll be personally played by me, obviously, already from the review. And of course, I will sign it and send it out. We also have uh, Shadowborn Games. They are doing a collector's all-in. And so that's really cool to see uh, that they're doing that. Again, shipping free of charge worldwide. That'll be super awesome. And I actually have a Mr. Chess 1 and 2 that is extra. I don't necessarily know how I got that. Sometimes I buy a game because I buy a lot of my games. Again, thank you so much for the support. It's an expensive hobby, but I can definitely do it with your guys' support. And then they send me like a free copy or, or something like that. And so I end up with like two copies and I ended up with a Mr. Chess 1 and 2 extra. So if that's interesting to you, you can definitely get it. Uh, Creative Game Studios is also donating. They are donating a uh, Chronicles of Drunagar plus Apocalypse. This is like the base game and the new game combined. So it's a ton of game. I mean, just Apocalypse has been taking me forever to get through. There's so much content, it's crazy. And they're actually doing four of those to the USA for free, which is super awesome. And then one of those, to Germany because, hey, I went to Spiel. We had made a lot of friends. I know a lot of you guys in Germany are fans. So if you want this free in Germany, you can get it as well. That's super fun. 
I'm giving up my full moon all in Bloodborne. This is actually probably one of the most painful things I'm giving up, but I just, I don't play it enough to justify the space because it's a ton, but somebody is going to love it. There are some painted miniatures by me in here, so that's fun. Of course, it's been played by me, uh, not all of the content, obviously, and of course, it'll be signed. We have The Witcher Old World. This is by Go On Board. They are sponsoring this one. They have a big box all in that they're giving out for free. That thing's massive. You can maybe see it right down there, right where the table ends there, probably well, right behind my head there. Um, Huge. It's a whole Calyx uh, shelf full, but it does fit in the Calyx. It looks great. It's an awesome thing. And then, of course, we have the Witcher Old World. This is my deluxe copy that I also have. So I'll be sending that out. Again, that'll be coming here from the USA. And as you can see, it has pretty much all of the uh, expansions there. So quite a bit. We also have the Witcher Path of Destiny prototype. I'll be sending that out so you guys can get an early look at that. That's a fun one. I uh, had a lot of fun with that. We have Assassin's Creed, the Assassin Pledge. That's a that box is giant too. It's like this big. It's huge. Already in a box, ready to go out. Uh, and again, shipping from the USA. Uh, okay, so this is... Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of Tenera stuff, guys. A lot. And I was like, how am I going to do this? And I was like, well, I'm going to make like three big bundles. So this is the giant painted Arena and Tenera's bundle that comes with like 13 different items. It comes with Arena. It comes with a whole bunch of Tenerys expansions. It's a huge amount. You can see what it's listed there. All the dragons and stuff like that. And that's all painted. Uh, then we also have the large unpainted Tenerys bundle that has a whole lot of Tenerys stuff, but just unpainted. And then we have an Arena plus Tenerys bundle. This is the Arena the Contest 1.0 plus all the expansions for that. And then some Tenerys stuff, including, including a painted Madness box in there for you. So very cool to get that also. Again, three of them sending out there. That's a ton of stuff. Six Siege, the prototype. Sending that sucker out. You guys are going to have a blast with that. I love playing this game. And you actually get it, which is kind of nice too. <laughs> Mythic Battles Ragnarok. I got a cool prototype of that I want to send out. Again, some painted minis in there for you. We got the Harakiri or Harakiri prototype. That is something available. And only 15 bucks USA shipping. Not too bad. This is big. Um, this was actually won by a person last year, but then they ended up getting it like right afterwards, like during Christmas time. And so like, okay, I guess I don't need it anymore. So it's up available again. This is an all in Kickstarter one, Kickstarter two. This is everything. It's huge. It's got the 3D terrain that's not even showing there that holds like the cards and junk like that. The neoprene mat, it's got it all. Uh, that's a big one. Uh, so that is about 60 bucks for USA shipping because it, again, it's massive, but that is so cool. It's such a fun game, but great minis too. We got an Uprising Ultimate All-In. That's coming out. That'll be, uh, again, from here in the U.S. We got Bad Karmas for the Tebaru system. We got two prototypes, so two early copies there. You can see how it works, how it plays. I have the APK I can toss your way. We have the Kingdom Rush. This is the Dragon Chest All-In, so this is the first All-In. Plus, from the second campaign, the Emperor's Chest Storage Solution. So it's all in this nice big box. It's just a box. It's already packed up, ready to go out to you guys uh, here soon. So McCain, again, got some extras. In this case, I have the Heart of Africa, the America, the New World, and the Arata pack. So if you have the original one, this will add two expansions plus the Arata for you, all printed out, ready for you to go. Uh, again, uh, that's a super fun game. So hopefully somebody enjoys that. I have the Dark Rituals Almost All In Pledge. So this is just about everything. It's pretty much all the gameplay stuff. I think there's a few minor things I might be missing. Uh, it's pretty small. This is a giant box. It's literally, I think, about this big. It's downstairs in my office, already boxed up, ready to go. We have the Townsfolk Tussle Peddler's Welcome Basket. This is from Panic Roll, so thank you, Panic Roll, for donating this to the community member. Again, free shipping for this. And the Welcomes Basket, as you can see, is the original game plus two expansions here. So that is super fun uh, to see. We also have a Primal of the Awakening prototype, so you can get this a little bit early and actually see the uh, the game and exactly how I played it, uh, so that's really fun. We have the Bard Sung. This is a gameplay all-in. Again, a giant box. Uh, I have that available for you guys. We have the Bedeville Carnival. I played this at Essence Spiel. It's by Ludo uh, uh, Studio, and it was... A lot of fun. I suck at it, though. Um, I'm just, I'm not good at it. But the art is really, really cool. And it's a, just a fun little game. You can teach it really easy. It's pretty darn strategic. Uh, definitely enjoyable. That's the collector's a box. Now, 
Uh, Ivan uh, supported us as well with four Saragos, so he's donating these, so that's awesome. So we have a divine uh, copy that he's sending out. We have a divine copy coming from me, and then we also have a acorn uh, copy coming from him for free as well. So super duper awesome. So Kabula by Stranger Game Studio, they also are supporting us, and they have a huge package that it comes with all the minis and stuff like that, plus their big giant map media neoprene mat. So very premium version here for you guys again for free which is super duper awesome rising sun this is something that kind of hurts me but i don't play it really anymore i have painted a lot of these minis this is my personal copy that i've had for years you've seen so many of my painting videos over this this is the uh the daimyo pledge so it comes with the kickstarter exclusives plus a dynasty invasion monster pack and art book so uh, some nice extras there again, super premium. Uh, it's got like the Moncala tiles and the, you know, the Alliance tokens are the 3D and stuff. It's, it's awesome. It's great. Um, you guys are going to, uh, like that a lot. I think the cyber odyssey prototype, my wife's been actually painting these recently because they're so much fun. So I posted about that. Uh, the, the prototype pretty darn cool. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it has been updated since then. So this is like a kind of a unique version. Again, if you want kind of these like fun little prototypes, they're definitely there. Frost Haven, this is my copy. It's the core plus reusable stickers. Uh, mint condition, haven't even played it or opened it or anything like that. So it's already in the box, ready to go to you guys. Same with Gloomhaven, that's here as well. It's a retail version on this one. Again, shipping from the USA. Age of Rome, this is the Emperor All In Pledge. This is a fun one. And it looks like, it's like super duper premium. It looks amazing. So I'll be sending that out to you guys. I have a Dungeonology way back when, a core pledge of that, completely unplayed. We have an Epic 7 Arise prototype. Uh, I know a lot of you guys don't even have this game, and I have this little prototype. Now, this prototype is not necessarily like super playable or anything like that. It's a very early version, but you can get some of the minis, you can see some of the art, you can at least get some of it there. And again, it's kind of fun to get these prototypes, I think. We have a Rogue Angels prototype. This one it has so much content. It's awesome. Um, well, I was going to send this off to somebody, but uh, because of where they lived, it ended up being easier just to put it in here and give it out to one of you guys. It's coming from the USA, and you guys are going to have a blast on it. It's actually already signed and numbered by the creator. I will sign it as well, so it's double signed from the developer and from me. It's going to be super duper cool. Lobotomy Manhunt 2, or Lobotomy 2 Manhunt. This is, again, my personal copy. I've not played it yet. It's the admission one plus the villain ward. I'll be sending that out. World Breakers. This is actually really great. This is also uh, donated by, uh, I believe their name is Ellie Amir. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this is looks like a very beautiful game. And they actually have two of these that they'll send for free to anybody in the USA. So feel free to uh, mark those. Senjutsu Battle for the J Japan. I have the prototype of that. Again, it's a little bit of a little a different version of it. So kind of a unique thing there. I have the Singularity prototype. This is pretty much the entire game. Uh, so sometimes these prototypes, again, they come in a wide variety. This one, it's like literally the whole game pretty much. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's missing the expansions that they haven't made yet. But the core game, it's the whole thing. Very playable, very fun. You're going to have a blast with it, I'm sure. We have uh, Guardian Chronicles Clash of Heroes. This is by the Red Joker. This was like before Oko Chronicles. This is their superhero version of it, the Guardians Chronicles. So that's kind of fun. Valors and Villainy, Minions of Mordak. I have the core box of that giving up. Uh, Disrupt, that's a neat little interesting game. Uh, so if you're into like Euro games, this is something for you. Waste Nights Second Edition, I have the retail version of that. I'm sending out 15 bucks to ship it out, super cheap for USA. That's cool. V Sabotage, again, have that. We have the Malia Lands of the Legends, the prototype. Again, only 10 bucks to send this one out. That's super cool. We have Spectre the board game, the 007 board game. We have the Kung Fu Panda board game. It does come with minis, so that's super fun. We have the Upzone pop-up terrain system, the cathedral, zone, the cathedral Zone prototype. I'll be sending that out. Works just fine. Uh, we have the uh, Fortress Clans plus Terror Wolf. This is your uh, card games, again, by the Red Joker. They're like card pack games like that big. So it, it, it'd be in a box like that big. It's not very big. Um, so that'll work. And... A huge thank you again to the company sponsors, Creative Game Studio, Black Forge Games, Go On Board, we got Into the Unknown, we have Panic Roll, we have Archon, 
We have the two people I mentioned before, and we also have Shadowborn Games. I need to add them to this as well. Guys, thank you again so much for such a wonderful year. Thank you for the consideration. Again, there is a link down below, and I will be adding more. There are so many companies that haven't responded to your emails yet. It is, you know, the holiday season, at least right now, a time of posting. So um, it's definitely, uh, you know, more will be added. There's already over 60 games, though. There's plenty to uh, win and enjoy, and you get to donate to the channel and help support a full another year of this. So again, thank you so very much. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye guys.